The masses are going to want to be fully invested before the halving. Everyone's expecting that we're going to break the all-time high before the halving or during the halving. But really, we have an unexpected and sudden flush into the halving event where we're going sideways to squeeze the market back down to free up liquidity for the whales to get the amount of Bitcoin that they want. And then after the halving event, we punch into new all-time highs. Traders are on alert as we get closer to the SEC's January 10th deadline to approve spot Bitcoin ETFs. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is January 4th, and Bitcoin is bouncing right back after yesterday's nasty wick to the downside. Just a quick wick to knock out the late longs and the people who are FOMOing the top. Classic Bitcoin activity. If you look to the left here on Kraken Pro, we can see that most of the market is now up today in the green. So that's awesome to see. When you see these quick moves down, a lot of people get stopped out on those moves, which opens up a sea of liquidity for the whales to scoop it up. And the whales quickly scooped up the available Bitcoin on the market. And we are now coming back to the last highest daily close area that Bitcoin is breaking above the RSI down trend line. What we had was a move down, obviously, and we retested the RSI down trend line as new support. So this is quite good. It's a sort of a break hook and maybe go for the RSI trend line breakout. The last time we did that, we had about 15 or 16 percent up. And if we were to do that again from here, that'd be giving us, you know, Probably about 50,000, I would say, would be the target there. But there's another area of interest that I have right now looking at the market. And we're going to be talking about what that is. Because I do think we're going to continue up. I think that the ETF is going to be approved if I were to just speculate. Based on the fact that we had this quick rebound after that dump, showing us there is a lot of demand for Bitcoin above the $40,000 level. Which means big money, smart money thinks that 40K is actually a good buy zone. And looking at the weekly chart for Bitcoin, what we have is, well, a continued uptrend. And in a sense, we do have also a parabolic trend, but that's not really the focus that I have right now. Just figured I'd mention that we are going parabolic. What I see on the Bitcoin chart looking left, first of all, we've already taken out the biggest challenge on the chart, which is the 2021 support zone, which acted as resistance here just this past year in 2023. In 2021, this entire range, that's really, that was the biggest challenge of the year. Two rejections off that level and then a breakout. And now we're re-entering a major swing range. What I mean by that is if you look left, all you see are major swings from that 30K level right up to 65, back down to 30K, right up to 69, back down to 30K area. This is a huge swing zone. The market is likely not gonna take too many breaks in between of its movements in this range. I think that we're probably still set to punch higher. And looking left, what areas of interest do we have on the chart? Well, we do have this weekly kind of close zone at about 47,000. Though if we break out again, I do think that that area probably won't pose as too much of a challenge. And the next major area, in my opinion, is going to be about 57 and a half thousand to about 60,000. This is my area of interest right now. I think that this area is going to pose the most significant threat, I would say, to the trend. Not that anything has to happen, but if you look, that this is the area where we had the most weekly candle closes back to back. The market settled up between 57,500 and 60,000 for you know one, two, three, four, five weekly candle closes. You could even say six weekly candle closes, sort of like back to back right there. So this is an area of high volume. So first of all, this area right here, we can assume that is now going to be a support level. Now, the next major area, if we break above about 47,000, is going to be 57,500. This is going to be an area that I think we will at least settle up based on the history of the chart. It doesn't have to happen, but I think that if we do break out here, we will probably quickly move through this swing range up to that area, that candle close cluster, this cluster of candle closes. And this would be an area that the market might settle up. Does it mean we're going to top out there? Well, it could if we break the parabolic trend line. Sure, we could see maybe some sort of short-term consolidation before a post-having bull run to new all-time highs. This is possible. Usually parabolic trends break down and become larger. 
that is actually very, very common for parabolic trends. They don't follow one parabolic trend line. They break down and become larger. And essentially what it means is that if we were going to play out this scenario, Bitcoin would punch up to this cluster, see a little bit of resistance, a little bit of a lower high, break the parabolic trend line, and maybe retest sort of where we are now, that 40K range, before getting support and looking to break the all-time high. So in terms of my expectations, my analysis, you know, seeing the momentum we have, the demand we get when we dip even at 40K here, just gets bought right back up. If we get a positive ETF approval outcome, it's likely gonna send us to this next major resistance, 57.5 to 60,000. And at that point, we're gonna have a lot of leverage in the market, and that would be a great opportunity for the whales the big players to take advantage of Bitcoin being heavy on the top side. When I say heavy on the top side, I mean all this leverage leading up to that to that 57,000 level. That's a great opportunity to wash the market out, free up more liquidity for them to buy the last bit they can below the all time high. I'd be pretty surprised if we just went straight through the all time high without a correction. But of course, anything is possible. But I see us running to 57.5 to 60,000 with a correction, whether that's minor, moderate, or maybe larger. This would be considered a little bit larger back to that 40K level. But something, something to free up liquidity for one last buy zone before running again to new all time highs. And this sort of analysis or prediction is kind of maybe against expectations of the crowd, because what I'm suggesting is that the halving would take place in a sideways range, where we would be seeing a lot of hype all the way up into this resistance, all that anticipation, the masses are gonna wanna be fully invested before the halving, which is an optimal zone to squeeze the market back down to free up liquidity for the whales to get the amount of Bitcoin that they want. And so this is suggesting that during the halving, everyone's going to be expecting that right before the halving, as we're coming up, everyone's expecting that we're going to break the all time high before the halving or during the halving. But really we have an unexpected and sudden flush into the halving event where we're going sideways. And then after the halving event, we punch into new all time highs. Of course, as long as the stock market allows that to happen, because usually the stock market, actually every single time Bitcoin has broken its all-time high, the S&P 500 had already done that at least four or maybe even eight months before that. So it would be an abnormal event if Bitcoin broke its all-time high before the stock market. And I think the stock market's probably doing pretty well today. If I were to just take a guess, well, it's pretty much break even today. It's just sitting at no percentage gain, which is actually a very positive thing when you're sitting near the all-time high resistance. There's no immediate rejection, so the likelihood that the stock market breaks the all-time high is pretty high at this point, in my opinion, and Bitcoin would likely have about four months to follow that, which means that I think right after the halving is when we're gonna actually break the all-time high, giving us a larger parabolic trend to follow moving into the rest of this year. So that was my full explanation on my most sort of precise, specific prediction I could possibly make, something along these lines. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash like, subscribe to this channel if you're new and you like this kind of content. And be sure to join the Patreon, which there's only four slots left, but I'm gonna open up some more before I post this video. You get extra content, you see what altcoins we're buying, and you can also have direct communication with me get my ideas on the Bitcoin price on a daily basis, etc., etc. Join now and I'll see you guys in the next video.